Hey guys, HMK here. A little update. I'm sorry for the react schedule, but I had to take care of a few things. What's up guys, HMK here once again. And Final Fantasy 15 is being teased on the Switch. Yes, I'm sure you guys heard about the news at GameStop. It's happening. Aside from all the other news that happened with Final Fantasy XV that's kind of weird, kind of cool, whatever, they were talking about the universe of Final Fantasy XV, which includes the episodes that came out and the episode that's going to come out that involves Ignis and the ones that came out, Prompto and Gladio and all that good jazz. And Final Fantasy Pocket Edition, Final Fantasy XV Pocket Edition, look, I mean... You guys can say anything about that, Square People are like, yeah, look at this awesome game in the palm of your hand. That shit looks like milking to the bone. Boy, that shit look crap, man, garbage. Whatever. But Final Fantasy XV being teased on the Switch is an extremely important deal. It is a big deal. And honestly, if it does come to the Switch, I would get it for the Switch. I have it for the PS4 Pro right now, and I will definitely pick it up for the Switch because Final Fantasy XV on the go, yeah. My personal feelings towards Final Fantasy XV aside, you know, uh, but I want to clarify a couple of things. One, there is no direct confirmation, there is no super official confirmation that Final Fantasy XV is coming to the Switch. At most, at best, it's on the cards for them to try, alright, because uh, other Square games that are coming to the Switch or could possibly come to the Switch is a different take when it comes to Final Fantasy XV. Because Final Fantasy XV, a lot of people will forget the fact that it does not run on the Unreal Engine 4. It runs on the Luminous Engine, and it's still yet to be seen! And I'm pretty sure they're, they're tinkering with white right now that we don't know if the Switch can run the Luminous Engine, you know? Uh, Tabata, during the Gamescom livestream on Twitch, said that, you know, uh, when he was asked about the future of Final Fantasy XV, where is it going to go, where is it going to come from, all that good jazz, because we do know it's coming to Windows early 2018, he was asked what other, you know, things is Final Fantasy XV going to go to besides Windows and iOS the phone. And then he says, you know, if you're thinking consoles, there's another console out there, I'm pretty sure you guys know about it, and it sounds like your name here, Twitch, and I'm going to leave it at that. So, I mean, like, that's no-brainer he's talking about the Switch, and I would be ecstatic if Final Fantasy XV came to the Switch, not just because of Final Fantasy itself, you know, coming to the Switch, but what possibilities it can open up for future Square Enix games coming to the Nintendo Switch. Boy, you know it, Kingdom Hearts 3 and Final Fantasy VII Remake. Now, both of those games run on Unreal Engine 4, and for what Nintendo said in the past about the Switch, Unreal Engine 4 ready, they're like, yeah, it's so easy, it can run Unreal Engine 4, no problem. It's as easy as flipping a switch. I, I, I get it. So, Final Fantasy XV being on the switch is a good way for Square Enix to gauge interest for people like, you know, do you guys want to see our games on the switch? I mean, sure, we are getting that one game, um, Square Enix, on the switch, and we are getting Dragon Quest later on or whatnot, blah, blah, blah. But that would be a great way for people to like, yeah, we want Final Fantasy VII Remake, we want Kingdom Hearts 3 on the Switch. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people are down, or would be down to get Final Fantasy XV on the Nintendo Switch. And, you know, it would be a great way to, for Nintendo and Square to rebuild their relationship because if you follow anything in the gaming industry, you know there has been a lot of bad blood between them. And we have seen, you know, slowly but surely that bridge getting rebuilt, getting mended. And you know, one of the most notable things is Cloud being in Smash. But Final Fantasy XV on the Switch excites me! It hypes me up! It gets me pumped! Not just because it's coming to the Switch or the possibility of it coming to the Switch. It gets me pumped for the possibilities it can open up for other Square Enix games in the future and in the past to come to the Nintendo Switch. Because you know, Nintendo Switch, we already know everyone's about it. Yo, Switch is awesome! And it's been selling out, and it's still selling out, and people are still trying to get this bad boy, and it's on so many units, it's pretty damn lucrative. And I'm pretty sure Scroy Enix wants a piece of that pie. 
And, you know, Final Fantasy 15, yeah, it sold a shitload as well. But, I mean, how much more can it sell if you decide to make it for the Switch? And, you know, I did enjoy playing the game. But the game is a whole different story. If you really want my take on that, I'll get back on you with that. But having Final Fantasy 15 and possibly everything that's come out with it and all that good jazz running on the Switch, on my TV, or on the go, sounds like a GG to me. But I want to know what you guys think about Final Fantasy 15 coming to the Switch and what it could mean for future Square Enix games, Kingdom Hearts 3 possibly be on the Switch. But remember, it is just a tease. No direct confirmation. If everyone tells, if everyone, if anyone tells you that Final Fantasy 15 is confirmed for the Switch, it is not entirely true. They are teasing it, of course, but we, you know, there are so many variables out there that could come into play. The biggest I see is the luminous engine of it. You can't run on the Switch properly. And a lot of people are like, yo, watch Final Fantasy Pocket Edition is the one that comes to the Switch, and then I won't buy it. And I will hate it, and I'll fuck that shit. Alright, so, <clears throat> no, please God, no. But yes, there are a lot of things that I feel that can go wrong with Final Fantasy 15 come on the Switch. They're letting us know that they're definitely considering it, like, more than most or more than others or more than any other thing they're testing right now. But we have to wait and see for a full confirmation. And there, it's probably going to, you know, the, the confirmation if and when does come, probably sometime mid-2018. That's what I'm guessing. But what do you guys think about this prospect? Final Fantasy 15 on the Switch and Square Enix putting their games onto the Nintendo Switch. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And if you made it to this part of this video, please be sure to try and partake in an HMK hype t-shirt. You can find all the details in the description box below. I hope you guys will pick one up. And until the next video on HMK, I have been HMK and I'll check you guys later.